Let's get to politics. A watchdog group files two complaints over Maxine Waters' fundraising activities. Come on in, Peter Flaherty, chair of the National Legal and Policy Center. Could you explain exactly what you allege she did wrong? Good morning, Stuart. Certainly. We filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission alleging that Maxine Waters and her campaign committee violated the Federal Election Campaign Act by accepting a $35,000 payment for her so-called slate mailer from the campaign of then-candidate Kamala Harris in 2006. Now, well, if wait, Harris's wait, wait, hold, campaign... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I've got to stop you with that. A slate mailer. Now, was this something that Maxine Waters created, a slate mailer? What is it? Yes. Uh, she puts out these slate ma mailers. They're rare outside of California. She is the only member of Congress who uses this device. And she gets away with it because uh, she sought and received an advisory opinion from the FEC back in 2004 and sort of carved out a loophole. But we believe that she's exploited it and uh, in this case uh, done so illegally. These slight mailers have been controversial for years. They've been criticized by but watchdogs on both the right and left. What well, is it? It's sort of like, yeah, good question. It's kind of like a sample ballot. It's similar to what you get from political parties when you walk into the polling place. She mails them out before the election. It has her picture on it. It's basically a slate of her personal endorsements. But what's interesting about it is that she charges other candidates to be on it. Oh, and because of this okay. loophole that the FEC allows, they're able to make payments to her in excess of campaign contributions uh, under okay. the Federal Election okay. Campaign okay. Act. So the bottom line is she creates a list of candidates, which she apparently endorses, sends that list around as a mailer, and charges the people on the list money for putting them on the list. And she got, what, $35,000 from Kamala Harris, Senator Harris? That is correct, but it did not come from Harris's campaign, which would have been legal. It instead came from the Democratic State Central Committee of California, and that's where we have the violation. Now, we believe where there's smoke, there's fire, and in addition to asking the commission to act on this violation, we've asked for an audit of Maxine Waters' campaign committee. Okay, so it, it sounds like it's not glaringly illegal, it's technical illegal. Would that be accurate? No, this, no, this, is, this is illegal. It's straightforward. Uh, these uh, mailers have been controversial for years, but this is the first time that there's been an allegation of illegality, and uh, we're working on a, uh, another complaint, which will be a more far-reaching uh, result of the scrutiny we're, we're giving her campaign well, filings now. Give me a hint about that, more far-reaching complaint. What does that mean? Well... The way it's set up now is that she takes in all this money, but it's unclear whether the money is actually spent uh, proportionally and properly on the mailings. It appears that her daughter, uh, Karen Waters, is the primary beneficiary of this operation. She's received uh, over $750,000 over the years for coordinating these things. And it's unclear how much work is actually entailed. It does appear to be uh, uh, Karen Waters' primary a source of income. Okay, that is a more significant item, I would say. Peter, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Good stuff, sir. You're welcome. Thank you.